Hey guys and welcome to a new video so actually this video is talking about the game in general about some points I see it should have changed or should be in NC soft change this shit because a lot of things on this game for sure is looking bad and they can fix it so we can play and have fun and increase the numbers of players for sure playing the game so the games can grow up so actually what I will talk about is a lot of bad points and how to fix this on my points or from what I think and for sure if they begin to feel this since it can make that change and for you guys if you feel this so we can try to make this video to go higher so maybe we can reach NCSoft one day and since maybe maybe will it change so anyway don't forget to subscribe like the video get your popcorn and get ready so we can talk about all of this first thing before I begin Blood and Soul have a good sins or a lot of good sins and also have a lot of bad sins. The bad sins always in any game in general there is a lot of bad sins on every game we are playing but actually when you are having a lot of good sins and a lot of sins can make you busy playing the game and they make you always having fun so normally you will play the game whatever it have a bad sins or not. But actually as things is going on Blood and Soul, Blood and Soul going for boring, the more than anything, you like two patches in a row, like super boring, actually I was playing the game, open the game, and maybe play some dailies, and even sometimes I didn't play the, my dailies, and look to the game, then I have nothing to do, so close the game again, and nothing. Why is this happening? Because they are going for super full PvE plan. I am doing dungeons, going for some higher stages, okay, I reach my item or I reach whatever I want, so I have no passion to play the game more, and that's because they are killed the PvP for sure. So one of the problems is killing PvP, because PvP normally is something that you always enjoy when you don't have anything to do in the game. If I will say I'm getting up, I did my best, played my dailies, whatever. That's what I feel for my PvE for today. So maybe I will have fun, go play some PvP, lose some matches, win some matches, go for some battle rounds, whatever. What I will play, I have some gears as example and I want to make some damage on some players on battle round because I have some gears. So I want to do something with this because I don't have anything to do better than this. So I have to play some PvP at least to have fun for this. Anyway, about PvP, maybe I will teach this a bit later. I am maybe I will talk about it on another video because that's a long thing about how to fix this and how to make the PvP better place and a lot of this things. So I will put this aside for now and let's begin to talk about some other problems. Okay, so let's begin with the first problem. What I see is some items don't deserve that much gold or materials to get it. Light. If I will take a look on the soul as example, so I am here on stage 2, so actually to make the upgrade I need some gold and actually I need 5 from this and I need 15 from this, okay? If we compare how much is this gold, if I will say I will get the sacred vials and buy in sacred oils and make them to vials, so for sure you will pay so much money until we do this and for the shimmering scales, okay, maybe it's easy task and 300 gold and 80 is not that much. But if I will say I will get something good as a damage, I will say okay, but what we can see, just do attack power and 50 critical damage. So if I will talk about this, it's not doing any damage, almost maybe you will not feel anything to happen. And that's not for sure for just stage 3, but it's from stage 1 to 2 to 3 to 4 and 5. So you have 5 stages like this, you will pay so much for them. like. 75 sacred vials like this and so much shimmering scales and for sure the gold and this upgrade is not deserving anything so what I will I want to say about this for sure awaiting and the true will do something but since I have to be more balanced I paid some gold so I need something in front of this also there is something like gems as example if you pay for gems so you pay so much money so much money maybe more than the soul as example and actually you will get nothing because gems not doing that much for you just some increase or attack power and that will not make any difference for you on damage or on anything so the problem i see the balance on the gold is so bad because a lot of items even like heart as example so much for the upgrade and nothing happen too much effort for nothing 
so what I hope from this or how to solve this for them for sure it's super easy just balance sins balance sins is not just by doing the better certain vials or anything the 15 is not that bad by the way but just made this 15 separate vials do something higher i want as example to go from this soul to this soul if i will say i'm going from stage one or on nether spart as example or i was on thunder spart before this so through thunder spart to through nether, nether spart soul if i will say as example it will do 5 million so i need the balance to be or i need the damage to be balanced on this if i will say stage one and two and three and four and five to desert can do two million from this awaiting one can do something two and three can do as a example two more million and true can do the last one million so since can be more balanced like this but what happened for sure is not like this you do stage one two three four five they are super useless awaiting one can do some different if i will say like five million so maybe this awaiting one can do two millions away from anything awaiting two and three can maybe meet the other one million then the true can do the last two million so for sure that something is not good because sometimes you feel like uh just a small upgrade or a trash upgrade that will do nothing for me so maybe you will have to skip it or maybe you will focus on something else and if you don't have any something else so you will feel like wasting your time and doing nothing so that will make you quit the game and delete the game because of this items so that's what i'm talking about about this point okay second problem i can say it's some items it was a bit old so normally you should begin to balance things and begin to make them easier and this item that i'm talking about especially is splendor stones why because you have something like this from long time in the game and you have something higher than this and you can't reach the higher one that's first thing and second this one have super hard chance if I will use three or sorry four awaiting like if I will put this four down like this and I want to try to get this so the chance is 26 why it's 26 at this point why it's not 100% why it's not something higher so we can get it especially you need so much from this light I need from here to here and from here to here and from here to here kinda so much so do you think putting this like this will make us pay for the game so that's something good for sure it's not because if you will feel yourself sometimes have to pay you will find yourself i want to quit more than pay for something like this away from it's not giving me items or giving me some dbs or not some players for sure i don't really care i will pay so he will get them full and maybe we'll get the better one and things will be very good for him so let me show you this so actually i want to go for this so i will go one two three four so when i get four i have a chance for awaken from the yellows the normal yellows and miss it okay the chance is super bad like you can see so ah uh, I'm, I'm lucky on this one actually i feel strange to see this but okay so that one from this if i will try again i don't expect that will happen sorry and it's just four so if I will go for this like this, I don't expect I will see it either. That's normal. So I will get a waiting. If I go for the third one, one, two, three, four, for sure I will not get it as well. That's something normal. So if I will say I did this from my first try for today, but actually how many times I lost until I I reached that? I can say the last one I got maybe this one maybe from seven months maybe more than this so chances to take all of this time so maybe i can get the item after this long kinda so bad for sure why i pay all of this and why i try all of this time so i can get just one item and actually it will not make that difference so if i will put this as example and place of this so the different two more attack power some boss at that power some entries on mystic let me put them to laser or sorry let me put them to laser like this so here 14 at that power here 9 boss at that power here 11 just boss at that power and 16 so just the two entries and for here i have a critical damage but here i have some mystic entries as well with some small entries for the critical damage okay so for the splendor stone set point 
just 160 and here 120 so the increase is 40 this 40 I don't expect it will give me something different in my chances as example so if I will put it like this okay maybe I got the different chances but whatever the point is not about what I got right now the point is about my luck so okay as I am putting this awakening so I can use one more so let me choose as a resemble the accuracy one or the critical chance one as I don't need critical chance so here if I will give it a try like this normally the chance is 26 but I don't expect it will happen away from normally it's one from four the chance oh okay I got it that's for change maybe I am a bit lucky when I'm making the videos I will always make videos when I do this so maybe that will happen so actually after so much long time maybe when I put it my 12 actually meet something but if I will talk about it for sure the chance is super bad away from I got some two chances where really I was super lucky on this and actually I'm super happy to see this but away from this normally if you are playing new and you want to do this it takes so much time talking about the stones in general I see blues when you get it should be 100% as well as this because if you put the purples it will be like 80 percent something on this average so actually i don't like this for the yellows maybe i like the yellows because three of them can grant you a waiting and if you go for four so maybe you have a chance for this so maybe that's a good so a good thing so what i like or what i hope to happen for this to be 100 percent for the blues and the purples because that's really too late for new players they have to get this so easy and for other players like us for sure i wanted to get something like this so that's my aim it's not good to find myself i have just 50 percent or less than 50 percent to do me from blues to purple or from purple to yellow sometimes it can fail so that's not a good thing okay let's go for another thing okay third problem i see is about spits and the classes so actually there is a lot of classes have so much high damage and some other classes super low on damage especially for maybe turtles like tents more than anything like okay warden doing some good damage but actually when you compare some classes like it's doing super high damage and i am as a tent i'm tenting and losing the damage and actually also my damage is low so it kind of feel bad for a lot of players maybe not for me that much because i don't expect something from lightning lightning is doing high damage and everything but for sure on tanking it's not that good tank to say so normally when you made the good spits or made spits doing for something better like if i will say blood master for me and that's something i know it will happen on the next patch away from i'm not sure how much the damage will be the different but if I will say something like lightning for me is better to not be as a tent. So if I will say I am not tenting with lightning away from I relax with tenting for lightning but it's not good for my party. If I will say I need spectral more and fire more for tenting because it's a lot easier for me. And because of things right now lightning is not good as a tent or some dungeons need me to stay on the right places a lot of time so it's better to not tank with something like a blade master and the blade master have a lot of fails or a lot of sense can make him fail away from some other characters like warden or tfm have a good sense to stand and have a resist and that's something blade master don't have so it put me on a disadvantage on tanking away from if you are skilled enough you can tank for sure and that's something we can talk about but the point is about the damage and the balance why my lightning as example at the moment can do so much damage in compared to fire and third spit especially is super useless and there is some other characters why they are having so much damage when they are ranged as well and staying away and you as a tank not doing that much damage to compare with them at least what I'm talking about, there is some skills have to be added or have to add it to some characters so they can do more damage on better or not better it's a bad situation like I'm tanking so if I'm using this skill as I'm tanking I will do more damage that will help me so I can at least make for my damage like as example blood master have nothing to help his party with so what I can do is just a chain block if a chain block can give me some attack power as example because I am when I use this I will press one then press F 
that will make me lose some time when I use this maybe about one second maybe half a second it's about you for sure but I will lose some time to use this still so if you make me give or make me take some more damage because I am using this or as I am resisting with this I will take more attack power and my party will take more attack power so that can make my blade master as example more useful some characters for sure not that useful these days and not a lot picking them so that's not a good thing as well for sure so anyway on this i hope for some more balance on the game more balance for the damage and for who making this balance please try to dbs test to understand how much you can do with this character when you are using these items or the same items so you can understand more what are you doing so you can balance or begin to increase and decrease damage until you make things going better and i hope for a big balance for the characters like i have the same items as someone else it not it should not happen like someone doing 100 million and someone doing 200 million because that's not unbalanced that's for sure will make this character not usable in the game at all Problem number 4 I see on this game is useless items There is a lot of items is useless for me as I am going up on the game So I will get them because I have to get them or I get them because of weeklies as example of, or whatever So I don't want to use this items or I want to get a new increase or anything better from them As example if I will look to my items item like this premium transformation stone crystal is useless for my tartar because it's used for all the weapons compared to mine so i don't have any use for this as this crystals as well also items like black stones maybe they begin to make some uses for this but actually i don't feel it as that much so what i hope for is this i need a system or i want to see a system in this game with a points this system can make you get some items as example when you did that points how to use this points or how to get this points as example if i will say i don't need this item and this item crossed like two points as example so i will use this item and sell it or give it away or whatever put it on this system so i did some points and until i reach some points or some level as example so i can buy some other items like as example you can put set of orbs on some other items and maybe something like star cross ring or whatever or any items useful on the game so if you make something like this any useless item i have on my inventory will be useful for me away from before or as i'm doing now for sure it's not that important for me because it's not making any use for me or anything so away from some po some items now is usable on this because i can put them and put made or make them to solar energy but actually solar energy is useless as well so if you put this on points and begin make the points to give you some items and make some useful items on this points so for sure it will be a lot better than this system okay next problem is the chances chances for anything not uh, talking about just the chances about talking about unity stones like what i did from some time but actually i'm talking in general as an example some players quit the game because of this i know a friend as an example from premium transformation stone chances because he tried it and he wanted two or one maybe i'm not sure how much he was or he wanted at that time but whatever when he wanted this item so he tried it for four times and actually he failed on the four times actually he quit the game on the same time he just closed the game sent you i will not play you anymore and i sent he deleted actually he was on my pc so he couldn't delete it but if he can on his pc he would do this so anyway chances doing a lot of problems i know koreans like chances for some reason i don't know why they like it anyway but whatever when you have some chances that can give some fun to the game but when the chance is super trash it give you super bad experience in the game as example if i will say i wanted to go for this enhancement from plus 11 to plus 12 there is no granted chance anyway okay so what i will happen or what it will happen when i try and use 1200 gold and i try this for 10 times and fail what i will gain i will gain almost not that much 
because I will get some attack power and some critical damage will not make that different for me some mystic also will not make that much different in compared to the gold I will pay because of this failed chances away from this item that I will lose and they are with gold as well so I will lose too much gold for just a failed try for item like this chances for sure on a lot of items and a lot of bad items and can make a lot of players quit the game as well I remember a friend was on my super old clan when I first joined the game he tried to get a Jandhado hat from floor 7 on motion tower actually this guy went like more than 200 or maybe 300 tries and actually he failed to get the hat uh, he quit the game at the same time when he felt like there is no way I will get this hat so actually he quit the game just because of item just a hat so why chances are super bad like this? I I don't understand really this game on this point. Away from this, for sure, for the items like Star Cross, so something like Star Cross uh, range for me, it never dropped on the game. Star Cross E range never dropped as well. Star Cross Necklace never dropped for me for sure. The one for myself for Bloodmaster. Actually, the only one dropped for me was the bracelet, and actually I got two times the bracelet, and that's super luck for sure, and will never happen. Just the belt for sure and the gloves can drop because they are for you so you can get them but for others the chances is super bad. Okay so I know Red and Soul like to make sense take more time but actually why I have to go for the dungeon for super long runs and super long time and just to get some items and actually it will kill me until I get the item so lightly or for some players why I do all of this to get some items and I can quit the game and play something else useful so a lot of players for sure can quit the game for some reasons like this as well so that's not a good experience you can give me from items like this so I hope they begin to nerf the chances and begin to make things a lot better and I prefer to not see this enhancement in general in this game at all okay so that's enough for today because this will take a long time if I will talk about all the points so if you like this type of video or you want to hear more about this for sure tell me in the comments and I will make part 2 because there is a lot of things I didn't talk about maybe more important than what I talked about already like as example pay to win for this game the routine that you do in the everyday some bad things like this pvp as well and also the side problems and the high end maybe this points especially need more tokens than anything because most of, of the problems on the game may be coming from this more maybe than the other points so anyway let's delete this for another video so anyway don't forget to subscribe guys and thank you for watching see you in the next video don't forget to like and share the video by the way so we can reach nc soft maybe when they see this maybe they will begin to do some changes and see you in the next video Bye-bye.